Hi everyone and welcome along to Sonic Academy with me, Chris, and sat beside me is... Me, Phil Johnston, again. Phil Johnston, the dynamic duo are back. Uh, this time we're going to do a track walkthrough. Uh, the track is an artist you've been heavily involved with the last few months in producing. Yes, and writing, yep. Her name is Alice La. Yes. Tell us a little bit about Alice and why you're getting involved and what you're doing. Um, I suppose about a year ago, I hooked up with an old bud of mine, Mark Seals, or you might know him as Mark LaSalle. He is a top line writer. He's done a whole bunch of stuff. I think he did uh, Polar Bears. What were they called, those guys? We had them on there. Uh, futuristic Polar Bears. Futuristic Polar Bears. He did a couple of their tracks, I think. Um, and he did a couple of Coast to Coast tracks back in the day. And I've sort of been working with Mark on and off. Anyway, we ended up in the pub one night. We we're like, oh, we have to get back and do a project. Mm-hmm. So we, we got, can still make it, man. We can still do it, man. <laughs> so uh, 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 previously, all our projects were like you know us trying to do stuff. So we thought we need we need to work with someone. So um, Mark got in touch with Alice and said, you know, would you be interested in coming and singing on a track that we'd done? We'd done a track called Last Dance, um, and so Alice came down and we were just blown away. We were just like, work with this, work with this girl, with this girl. She was amazing. So. We, um, yeah, we just sort of progressed. We wrote a few things for her. She gave us a bunch of stuff that she'd written. And we just started producing things. We've got a whole bunch of stuff now. So this particular track was done before we were, we'd met Alice by uh, Maddie and Jess at Black Studios, um, which is a a studio up the road from us. Uh, Really good writers, producers. Uh Jess was a singer on The Voice. Okay. She got quite far along in that. Brilliant, brilliant voice, good writer, and uh, Matty uh, was over in London. He was working with um, a guy as a hip hop producer, and they did some pretty big stuff. So they're over here now, and they were working with sort of Alice on, and they still are. She's still working with them, doing a few tracks. Um, and so this is from an EP that's going out um, over the course of the next few months. Um, so this is the second or this is the first single off it so this single's been released on Spotify and across all digital platforms on the Sixth. tomorrow 6th of Sixth, December yeah tomorrow yeah so what we're going to show you is a track walkthrough Phil got the original and then decided to work some of his production magic so I think what we'll do Phil is play the original yeah and then give people a sense of how you take an original that's kind of well produced you know it's 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 not a demo it's it's yeah, yeah it was a finished a finished track um and how you formulate ideas to go right this is how i feel it should be produced and how you yeah i think we because we'd we'd sort of gone down a particular path production wise with the tracks and alice just wanted something a bit closer and to tried a, sort of a different angle as well this is the original Maddie's production's great. I really like it, especially all the sort of effects and stuff. In the background, I used a lot of that stuff. It's very contemporary still. Yeah, and... Um, How can I predict anything When it's crazy things up in there Just let you hear it. When you know it's a logo It's just a musician thing So that is the original. Great production. I really, really genuinely love the original. Um, but uh, I think we were going to struggle getting getting on to daytime radio. Which, yeah, which I mean, was I, I, the aim for. I think the chorus is just a bit sort of flat, or, or it just doesn't get. It feels it feels like a pre-chorus. Yeah. Uh, rather than getting into a big chorus, and that's kind of. So, do you want to play a little bit of a yeah, little we'll favorite of yours? Yeah, we'll go. So 
yeah, that's the basic idea. Um, the first thing that uh, what I have to say, what was really good, Matt's a brilliant vocal producer, so I didn't have to do almost anything to the vocals. I had to just I did a bit of tidying up, just some breaths and just a tiny bit of alignment here and there. But mm-hmm. um, for the most part, that was. I mean, my first listening between his and yours, the the DJ bit, the DJ, I felt sort of stumbled in his version and on yours it felt much more nailed yeah I mean I did what did I do with the let me check the vocals so yeah for the he had doubles but they were sort of a, maybe a wee bit brought back I think I brought them out did I add harmonizer yeah I've got a vocoder in there doing stuff it seems that's all the DJ a DJ that just like sort of thickens things up, and okay, yeah, that's that's good. Uh, look, I, should we stop it there and then we'll go and start? We'll talk about the drums in one video in the next video, and then we'll look at the yeah, synths sure, and stuff. That. So that will be cool, guys. Uh, in the next video, we're going to take a look at how Phil used is that your word? Used, yeah, used okay. up the drums, okay. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.